Hi everyone, this is Rick at Taste of Guitar. Today we're going to check out some licks from one of the undisputed masters of rhythm guitar playing, Mr. Cornell Dupree. Now in going back and checking out his discography, I was amazed at the sheer diversity of artists he recorded with. Just the licks we're learning today came off of records from Aretha Franklin, Joe Cocker, Paul Simon, The Average White Band. The list of people he recorded with goes on and on, and he played on over 2,500 sessions. It's an incredible body of work. I think why so many people wanted him on their tunes is because his playing was so subtle, so understated, and always served the song. The licks we're going to do today are the same way, just very subtle, simple little things, but when placed in the right place, can add a lot of color to your playing. So tune in if you're ready. Here are five Cornell Dupree licks you should be playing. Okay, this first lick is over 2-5 in the key of A, so B minor to an E in the key of A. And it's using intervals of 6. We were sliding up to the ninth fret, so I was kind of barring the first finger there. Grabbing the root, and then going back to the seventh fret, which is kind of the top half of an E9 chord. So you hear uh, Cornell Dupree do this a lot, and it's heard in a lot of recordings. Another variation on this is to go chromatically there from that sixth chord back to the ninth chord. Let me play that one for you here. You could phrase it differently. Just experiment with the phrasing a little bit. Now another place this lick works really well is going from a 4 chord to the diminished chord a half step above, leading back to the 1 chord. But this time we're going to play it uh, a whole step down. This lick leads really nicely from the 5 chord back to the 1 chord, that's the E chord back to the A chord in the key of A. It's starting kind of on the top of this A chord. The licks are really coming out of A. We're doing that hammer on there from the 5 to the 6 there to E to the F sharp. We're moving down, hammering on that C sharp. Again, hammering from the E to the F sharp. Sliding down, ending at the root there. Alright, this next one works really well moving from the 1 chord to the 5 chord, our A to our E in the key of A. So we're just going to slide up from this uh, shape right here at the 4th fret. Catch the root there with our first finger. And then we're going to slide up, do this 6th uh, interval to the ninth fret. 
ending on the seventh fret, and that's kind of the top of an E9 chord, so we're on the five chord. Really simple, but very nice and effective. Okay, you'll hear this one a lot in 6-8 ballads, especially old gospel tunes. It's kind of like a piano thing. Um, what we're doing is we're playing kind of the four chord over the one. So it's a D over A leading to the A, leading to the one chord. And the time of this would be like one, two, three, four, five, six, and one. One, two, three, four, five, six really useful thing and you can also move it around if say if you're playing a blues um, do it on each chord go up to the four chord Okay, this last lick also works really well over a 6-8 ballad. We're just going from the 1 chord leading to the 5 chord here. And it's just an easy little slide starting here at the 9th fret. Right down to the 7th fret. We're landing on that 7th fret uh, when we make to the, the change to the E chord. That's it. And you could also do this with intervals of six as well, and that would sound like. Also very useful. All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today and checking out these five Cornell Dupree licks that you should be playing. I really suggest you go out and check out his whole discography. I mean, it's just amazing. This is really just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of stuff out there uh, that he's played on, so go seek it out. As always, if you did enjoy the video, please like, subscribe, and share it, and come by tastyguitar.com where I do have a lot of other videos, and let me know what more you want to learn. Give me some suggestions in the comments of uh, what videos you would like me to do next. And I also teach lessons via Skype. This has been Rick at Tasty Guitar. Thank you.